Hi, this is Jim Pellerino, and right now I want to talk about what's known as the fertility rate, and that is the amount of children uh, per female uh, throughout the female's lifetime. The fertility rate in Europe. Because it's kind of bad in that it's very low. The um, primary reason for the low fertility rate, I believe, is because of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster that occurred in 1986 in the Ukraine. The winds swept all the nuclear um, radiation westward. Um, you're going to have to really um, uh, use Google Earth or if it, some similar type of program, a map, just a map of Europe, to um, to understand. Um, to, to know the countries that I'm talking about, but um, the lowest fertility rate in the world is Belarus. And someone from Belarus is known as a Belarusian, right? This is when the Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. Now it's its own separate country and Russia and Soviet Union is called Russia. Um, but Belarus was part of that as well. Um, that came in at 193, the lowest fertility rate. Um, at 191 was the Ukraine where it occurred. 1.22 births per female. In essence, what you have is a population that's going extinct in the Ukraine. Right, and, and when the birth, when the rate is not 2.0 or greater, um, you have you have a peoples that are that are going extinct because they the infertility and they can't they can't give birth. There's another um, video I saw like a, about this um, and what's occurring in Europe. Um, that one was pretty much just fear mongering by um, some Mormons. Um, so everyone would hate Muslims, but, um, it never got into the reason why there was such a low birth rate in Europe. And I believe this is the reason why. And if you go from the Ukraine where this occurred in 1986 and where the winds took it westward, you can see, um, the worst parts are around where this reactor was. Okay. Poland comes in 190 at uh, 1.23. Bosnia Herzegovina 189, Czech Republic and Slovakia. They used to be one nation back then. They called it Czechoslovakia. They're uh, 188, 187. Um, you have like uh, Slavic nations, uh, Lithuania, Slovenia, Hungary, Latvia, um, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece is right close to there, uh, Croatia. Um, then Italy, so, so we're starting to move west here, and it's becoming less as we move west, right? Um, there, there's, there's, there's becoming more of a higher birth rate as we go west. Here, Italy is 174, but it's still bad. It's 1.38 um, children being born per female. Uh, Germany, Spain, now that that's... Uh, Spain is pretty low. That's that's very far away. Um, that's getting pretty far away. Um, Austria, Switzerland. Uh, Spain's position might be an anomaly right now. Um, Macedonia, Portugal. 1.46 children per female in Portugal. Um, Let's go up here, like um, Luxembourg, 
Netherlands. Um, areas far farther up north seem to be uh, doing better. Uh, Sweden at 1.80, Denmark at 1.80, the UK at 1.82 children per females, Finland 1.83, Norway 1.85, France 1.89, and um, the one in the best shape is the one that's farthest away, Ireland at 1.96 uh, females per uh, uh, children per uh, per female. But all these numbers are extremely low. I mean, even even Ireland at 1.96 is not at a replacement rate, and so this this is extremely extremely bad. Um, the um, the nuclear radiation uh, screws up people's fertilities. Um, concentrating some of these particles, concentrating in the um, <clears throat> in the gonads, in the um, sperm, mutating them, and the eggs of women and mutating them. And uh, this just occurred in Japan. Japan's was already low before this Fukushima disaster. And now it's going to be even worse. Um, we really um, have to end um, using nuclear energy as it is right now and switch over from what we have been using, which is the disgusting um, uranium with its radioactive elements, and switch them over to thorium. And we need to shut down all our nuclear reactors here in America and, and, um, and do this, this changeover. And I suggest we particularly do it where there are nuclear reactors um, close to large populaces like Indian Point in New York uh, State on the Hudson River. And like there's one in Chicago. These are the ones that have to be shut down first and foremost. And we need um, people in office with the political will to do what to do this and make this changeover occur whereby the nuclear power plants are using thorium which doesn't have hardly any of uh, radioactive byproduct um, and and not use a depleted uh, the uranium any longer um, we, we can't have this occurring in the United States um, these sorts of bad uh, bad effects are going to occur upon our soldiers like so I, I, I was in the Persian Gulf War and I think it's gotten even worse, um, where they're putting um, the toxic um, byproduct of nuclear energy, depleted uranium, and making our weapon, our, our rounds and our munitions out of it, out of depleted uranium. And um, so all our soldiers, they're um, they're going to come back, and they're they're going to have trouble um, having children. It's go I mean, it's just it's gonna occur because that's what they're firing. That those are those are in the rounds that they're firing. You know, it's pretty bad. Uh, so it, another thing, if we're if we're using thorium in our nuclear reactors, there wouldn't be this toxic um, byproduct, depleted uranium, to um, that we would even use. You know. In, in our munitions, it'd just be regular bullets. Uh, there, there wouldn't be use for that. Any use for that? But what we have here, as far as I can see, is um, lunacy in using uranium for nuclear energy. This has to change, and it has to change very, very quickly. And our po our politicians have to take the reins here and make sure that it happens. And um, the nuclear regulatory agency, the people that are in there now, have to be fired, and new people put in that will stop the madness, or just end the nuclear regulatory agency altogether. Um, stop the nuclear, uh, shut down all the nuclear power plants, and convert them over to thorium, which is the 90th element in the periodic table. Uh, 
thorium using uh, nuclear energy. The, um, the European populace is, yeah, they're going extinct. We can't have this in America. Have a nice day.